September 28, 2021 Daily Devotional A Devotional on the Book of Acts From the darkness I called your name Into darkness Your mercy came You called me out Lifted me up How great is your love You bore my weakness You took my shame Buried my burdens In fields of grace You called me out Lifted me up How great is your love From the heights of heaven You step down to earth Innocence, perfection Gave your life for us And we are amazed We stand in awe For we have been changed never been, there will never be a God like you, a love so true. There has never been, there will never be a God like you, a love so true. There has never been.
For our scripture reading, please read Acts chapter 9. Prosecutor to Preacher God has a plan for each of us. In Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, He reminded us that in times of hopelessness, He plans to prosper and not harm us. Those plans give us hope for the future. While Saul was going around persecuting believers, we read that he was breathing murderous threats too. In the process, God slowly unveiled the plans he had for him. In verses 3 to 5, it was written, As he neared Damascus on his journey, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice say to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting, he replied. Fast forward to verses 15 to 16. It was written, But the Lord said to Ananias, Go, this man, Saul, is my chosen instrument to proclaim my name to the Gentiles and their kings and to the people of Israel. I will show him how much he must suffer for my name. All along, this was God's plan for the Apostle Paul. That encounter with the risen Lord transformed his life from being a persecutor of the church to its greatest missionary. He was so zealous in proclaiming the gospel. The Bible says he grew more powerful and baffled the Jews living in Damascus by proving that Jesus is the Christ. Paul's life was so in danger there that his friends had to lower him in a basket through an opening in the city wall to escape his enemies. Moreover, in Jerusalem, Paul was faced with suspicion by the believers because of his previous persecuting activities. However, Barnabas received him and presented his story to the apostles. Verse 28, it was written, So Saul stayed with them and moved about freely in Jerusalem, speaking boldly in the name of the Lord. He talked and debated with the Hellenistic Jews, but they tried to kill him. When the believers learned of this, they took him down to Caesarea and sent him off to Tarsus. While Paul was zealous in proclaiming the gospel and debating with others, his life was in danger and caused some trouble for the church. The Lord had to first mold him and remove certain character traits that were not beneficial to the kingdom. So he was sent off back to Tarsus. Sometimes good intentions may result in negative responses if our passion and zealousness are not well balanced with wisdom and understanding. We need to be equipped, grow, and discipled so that we will become more effective. But even then, for the time being, the church enjoyed a time of peace. They also increased in number because of the power of God to change the life of Paul from persecutor to fearless preacher of God's word. If it's possible with Paul, God can transform our lives as well. But first, we should truly have a genuine encounter with Him, a personal relationship with the one true God, and not just based on traditions, practices, and rituals. Reflection Saul had an authentic encounter with the risen Lord, and it transformed his life. Many of us have been attending church for a long time, but haven't experienced the transforming power of the Lord. Perhaps we thought we know Jesus already, but there is a big difference between knowing about Jesus and knowing Him as your Lord and Savior. If you have not taken that step of faith, a true encounter with our Lord, I encourage you to do so now. Repent of your sins, acknowledge that only He is the way, the truth, and the life. Then. Let the Holy Spirit guide you to start living a new transformed life in Christ alone. Prayer Lord, I want to have that truly transformed life that the Apostle Paul experienced. It made him a fearless preacher from a persecutor. This cannot happen using my own strength and knowledge, but I pray for your Holy Spirit to capture all of me, my mind, heart, and will, so that I'm doing everything by your power and wisdom in everything. Help me, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.